welcome back to the card match. Sorry, there's a plug sticking out. I'm, I'm getting all high tech I am. I'm actually going to read the questions off a little tablet if the bloody thing stays on. Right, it's questions and answers, as you might have guessed by me saying I'm going to answer some questions, which is on the tablet. Yeah, um, everybody that I mention on this, I will leave a link to their channel, if they've actually got a channel, in the description box, so you can go and check them all out. Um, first question, I'm just going to read down the list from the way the questions come in, thank you very much. Uh, Mexi Mex, he wants to know, what is the capital of Assyria? Yeah, the capital of Assyria is Assur, A W S, -S U R. Um, it was founded in what 2600 BC, so about four and a half thousand years ago. Uh, it was in Mesopotamia and it was a small, what you call like, like a little state in uh, well, an Arcadian little state type thing. Yeah, it fell not long before Jesus was born, so they say in the Bible, about North BC or North AD. Yeah, so four and a half thousand years ago. So there you go, Mexi Mex, capital of Assyria. Next one we've got Ken Mortison. Um, I have a question. Nice way to start. You seem to be quite comfortable, comfortable performing here. I can see you as the life of the party. You've never seen me at a party, obviously. Have you ever performed professionally? No. Simple answer. No, I've never performed professionally. I used to perform for friends and family. I'm sorry, I've just got to keep this moving, otherwise it'll turn off. I've got to turn it all back on again. Um, yeah, I used to do stuff for friends and family. Not too much, just... Odd little cups of couple of tricks at, at little parties and stuff till they get too bladdered and mess them up and put the pack away or go to bed. Um, so there you go, Ken Mortison. Um, Macaro. Um, really pretty looking cards there, mate. No, these are just um, Cobalt Lux by Bicycle, these ones. I think you were on about the ones in that video. Um, yeah, it was an unboxing, wasn't it? Uh, my question What time in the morning do you start drinking? I mean, coffee, of course. Hmm. Yeah, um, coffee. If I'm in work, I'll usually have my first cup of, cup of coffee when I get to work. Just before I go and start my shift, wake me up. If I'm at home and the missus is off work, uh, usually after she gets up. So I've usually had about four cups of tea by then. Um, if she's in work, don't have one in the morning. Don't get one till she gets home from work, so about six o'clock at night. So there you go. There's the varying times I have my first cup of coffee. And that's not a question. That's not a question. Read more. Oh, read more. Yeah, Ben Marples, Magic Tricks Revealed. First of all, congratulations. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We just don't want to hear all of that. He's got two questions. Um, what? Why is your channel so good? Um, I can't answer that one. I can't. I can't say if my channel is good or not. I don't think it's that good. There's a lot better channels out there. Um, the only people who can decide if my channel is any good is people who decide to subscribe. That's the only way I can say it. So if my channel is any good, I'll have a million subscribers. If it's not any good, I'll have 1,300. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Um, the second question is, what do I do in my spare time besides magic? Uh, oh, it's going to go off. What do I do in my spare time besides magic? Housework. Go to work shop, run the kids here, there and everywhere. Um, so basically I don't get time off. I'm always, there's always something to bloody do. I've just finished decorating the entire house and rejigging the entire garden and sorting this room out. And God almighty, I don't get spare time me. The missus won't allow it. So basically I don't do nothing in my spare time because I just don't get none. Um, how 
with the marbles. Um, blah, blah, blah. MD Magic. Um, can I do a video on card forces? Yes, I will do. I won't do it now, obviously, because I'm too busy talking. I'm too busy enjoying myself talking. Yeah, but I will do a tutorial on card for well, a couple of different ways to force cards. So look for that. That'll be coming out in a couple of days, probably. Um, card Perfect Magician. Have you ever thought of creating your own deck of cards or magic effect? Um, well, I've never thought about cards because I wouldn't know how to go about that. Um, your magic, well, I thought I've already invented a couple of magic tricks. <laughs> yeah, and then somehow you find out that you haven't or they're just not good enough. Yeah, so I've never, honestly, I've never thought about doing a deck of cards. Wouldn't know to, how to go about it. And Magic Effect, as I say, I think I've made one or two. I tried um, subbing a couple of them, but uh, never got nothing from it. Um, MNC Community. Um, nice question. Can we collab in future? Yeah, of course we can. I'll collab with anybody, but nobody ever wants to collab with me. That's the problem. I don't know why. I think I'm scary. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do a collab, fella. No problem. Um, Sean McDowell, who was the magician that inspired me to get into magic? Um, no one. No, I can't say anybody inspired me to get into it. I sort of like just fell into it. I'd seen a trick getting done and I thought, what the heck? i got to know how that's done. So I looked it up and found out. I was actually using the... Um, the... Um, not the invisible deck, the other one, the long and short. You know the one I mean, the Svengali deck is it? Where you go like that and they're all one card and then you do it that way and they're all ace of spades. Yeah, I'd seen that getting done and it blew me mind so I had to find out how it was done. And from then I just started going into picking other things up, just watching people and buying books and reading and stuff. Um, yeah, so Sean McDowell, thank you. Got to read more on this one, David Murphy. Uh, how old was I when I got into magic, and what was the first trick I remember doing? Um, but I do remember doing a card trick when I was a kid. It was one my dad showed me, and it's that one where you have, um, you know what I mean. You have the cards like that, and then you, you tap them down, and you end up with just the one card popping out. That one. Um, so, yeah, the first time, well, I must be about seven or eight, I should imagine. Um, have I passed down tricks to me kids? Yes and no. <laughs> uh, the eldest daughter used to live with us for a while, I had my granddaughter, and so she was me test model, if you like. Anything I was doing, um, then to do a double lift. Do you know what I've just done there? Yeah, you've done a double lift. How do you know that? Well, I know what you're doing because I've... You know, she, she got that good, but she never, you know, bores her to tears. But I, probably because I, was, I, can you, can you see me doing this? Can you see me doing that? How to do this? And yeah, so I, I, I must have peered it off with it. So no, not, never gone down to any of my kids. My little granddaughter, yeah, she wants to try it, but she's too young at the moment. She's only eight. Give her a chance. I'll get her into it. Should start her around now, but she still hasn't got to get off. The, um, the interest, shall we say. Um, what do you consider as the basic tricks, moves, any magician needs to know? Basic slights, like your, your double lifts, um, the Elmsley count, Jordan count, um, shuffling, prop, shuffling the cards properly so you're not, they're not doing as normally happens to me. Cards flip over and I drop them. Learn to shuffle properly, learn to control them. Um, a couple of nice false shuffles, laying a nice good false overhand shuffle, even if they're taking the chunk and counting off um, about 10 cards and then down jogging one and throwing the top on and pushing up and then just shuffling off 10 cards to throw them back on the top to keep it in. A nice false shuffle is a, an essential. Um, what are some essential books? Every magician should have. Yeah, I got ready for this one. These are your two Bibles. 
the expiator at the card table, hard knees, and the roll roll to call it, uh, card magic, our guard. These should be your Bibles. They take everything you need to know from shuffling right through to some pretty advanced tricks. Very good books to own. Get them. Um, what magicians do I look up to as inspiration when you first caught the magic book? As I say, I, I didn't. It was more, give us a trick. I want to learn it. Give us a trick. I want to learn it. So I wasn't really into watching a lot of magicians. Um, what is your favourite deck of cards? If you had an unlimited and free supply of a more expensive deck, which deck would you use and why? Um, well, it'd be nice to use like a thousand pound deck, but I don't see the point in it. As long as the cards are handling the way you want them to. Any deck's my favourite deck. I haven't got a favourite one. As you see, I mess around through all the ones that I have got. Um, how are you doing with the quarantine going on? Um, but I was coping very, very well. Uh, the last week, I've been a bit down, been a bit low. I do have um, a mental illness anyway. I've got uh, depression. So I have struggled over the last week. Some of you might have got onto some of that in the videos. I haven't, just haven't been myself. So up up until lately, I've been fine. It's only now getting me. And I've got another three weeks before I'm back to work. We'll see how we go. And how's the family? They're all doing fine. Yeah. Thank you very much. David Murphy. Right. Um, the magic buzz. <laughs> Do I have a gold tooth? A uh, funny story. I did have. No, nobody knocked it out and I didn't get mold. I had a bad toothache, went to the dentist. She said, see, I need my tooth out. So she took a tooth out, replaced it with a gold one. I came home two days later, realised she'd taken the wrong bloody tooth out. I had to go back. She took that out and said, you can sod off. You're not taking the other one out. And I come home and pulled it myself. Yeah, so I did have for about two days. Um, Robert Ball Magician. Um, what is my favourite book I have or would like to have on card magic? Um, my two favourite ones would be um, Anthology by Daniel Madison and um, The Collected Works of Alex Elmsley. They've got to be my me, me two most expensive books. Yeah, sure change out of a ton for them. Um, they're, about, they're my favourite ones. Yeah, Alex Almsley one tells you a lot of different moves and a lot of great tricks. And uh, the Daniel Madison, loads of his slights, little gaffes that he does. Fantastic. Great books. Um, what else have we got? MK Maudsley. Have I ever messed up a trick or routine in front of an audience? And if so, how did I deal with it? Well... Anyone, anybody who says they've never messed up in front of somebody is telling you lies. You do. Everyone's going to mess up one time or another. Whether or not you, you're planning on doing um, the classic force, pick a card, any card, or you want that one there, okay, you've got that one. You miss, mess out on that. Always a quick thing to do. Glimpse your bottom card. Always got a fail safe out of it then. You go into anything you want to, you know a key card. They can stick their card on the top, you can cut into the middle and go into a um, mentalist trick or anything. Yeah, so everybody's messed up, I've messed up. But the way around it is always have a little out. Or if you're doing a trick, yeah, make sure you've got a little out. Glimpse the bottom card, you're always going to get out. If you're further on in the trick, um, yeah, it has happened. I've been further on in the trick. They've done something, I've got the card back. Stuck it in, I had to remember a key card, forgotten the key card. And so you've got to go into something else. So you just, I just made a joke out and said, uh, um, say my me me key card was the three of hearts and I forgot it and thought it was the three of spades, uh, the three of diamonds. I would have went, there you go, there's your card. And they'll go, it's not, and you go, well, hang on. 
lays your card and I just work for all the other trees and if you get it eventually you say well you're not too bad four goals out of 52 yeah um, yeah try and make a joke out of it if you can do oh god right now trinity yeah thank you very much trinity i should have done this at the start i would have been finished by now right question one how many decks of cards do you own not including gaff decks guesstimate not allowed yeah right so i did i checked for this i did honestly um i went through all my drawers and everything i've got 104 packs of cards some duplicate packets obviously um i've got 25 packs of gaffed cards be that um, long and short stripper um, all blanks all double backers all jokers um, um color burn set up in the packet you know, a couple of different six set up in packets 25 of them and i've got about seven about seven packets of old decks you know what i mean with cards missing from them so i use them as duplicates and um, you've got three minutes to impress me what would you do to get a golden buzzer you can perform your favorite and most impressive trick if you like um yeah it either yeah um oh what's it called alex elms we want dazzle i performed as a fantastic effect it might take just over the three minutes unless i really rushed it took out a couple of cards that helped um yeah so dazzle by alex elmsley that would amaze anybody um i did a trick not so long back for a family member and i got a bit cocky and asked them to shuffle the deck as well and i completely messed up the trick does happen so I had to ad lib and go to another trick. Nice to have a backup. And as I was out, and I was out, I was one card out, the three of clubs instead of the two of clubs. So I failed twice. Has this ever happened to you? <sighs> Probably. I honestly couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't tell you, my mate. Probably. Probably. I probably if if so I've probably gone into doing the doing the first trick that's messed up a bit I've rearranged it to a second trick and then got so far in that and reverted back to the first trick just really confused myself if I ever have done. Um, next next pandemic in the future might be more serious than this one, and you may have the option to go to the moon. Would I go? Oh, I don't know. I don't know because you'd be breeding a lot of recycled air. Yeah, so I don't know if I do that. It might be more dangerous up there than it would be down here. But you can only pack one of everything. What deck of cards and magic book would you pack? You can compute, you can include other stuff in your answer if I'd like. Hmm. Well, what deck of cards would I take? Um, dark Hearts, yeah, definitely my Dark Hearts and Stokes. Yeah, if I got bored of playing with them. If I got bored of playing with them, I'd just sit there looking at all the nice pictures, especially um, my little lady, if you know what I mean. Yeah, <clears throat> we'll move off that very quickly. Um, and Booth, ooh, probably Alex Elmsley one. Uh, I know you love your card magic, but do you like to perform other effects and illusion? And if so, I'd love to see some. Well, I used to, you might have seen some of my older videos. I've done a couple of elastic ones, matchstick coins, um, sponge balls. Um, I don't, did I do, no, I, don't, I think I've done the delights on my other channel. I think that's on there. Um, but I have done with other stuff, but everything you need why carry a lot of other stuff you know what i mean i just like making things simple um at the moment i'm watching all of all the same pet episodes for some reason i like the retro stuff are you the same boys from the black stuff yeah yeah a lot of a lot of dial stuff i mean 
some of it get to watch it now before it gets banned off here completely if you know what i mean some things are, are disappearing and some of it is fantastic comedy if you take it as comedy as what it's meant to be it's just a laugh um, yeah, so I do. I love all the old, especially this this science fiction one, Star Trek, and ooh, stuff like that. Blake Seven, God Almighty, I want to see that again. Um, how tall am I, and what size shoe do I wear? Um, when I'm five, ten, five, ten, five, eleven, and I wear size eight. Uh, would I ever jump out of an airplane or skydive? Well, I think if you jumped out of an airplane, you best go skydiving. Otherwise, it's a long way down if you're not skydiving. Bloody quicker as well. In fact, what is my top 10 bucket list? You know, I've never even given a bucket list a thought. I haven't. Um, I think I'm too old to make one now. <laughs> Most things in the world are scary, so I'm not going to even attempt them. A couple of years back, I probably would have made one, but... Too old now, my mate. Um, what's the most unusual parcel I have ever, ever delivered? Um, a bath. A telly. A samurai sword. Um, uh, a woman's pleasure aid actually put the batteries in, which went off all day long until I got to the door, and God was the woman embarrassed. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I bet you've seen some sights early in the morning and encountered some vicious animals. Some of the nice sights you've seen in the morning are bloody vicious animals, mate. Yeah, especially when she comes to the door and a towel drops and you're stood there yeah, and you're getting the height of abuse for not, not looking away. <laughs> yeah, um, I've, I've seen some, I have seen some, uh, wow. There was, there was one I had to go to a block of flats. It was a little two-story block of flats into Contagheri. And the tray button had gone off, so I had to press one of the buzzers. And the woman come down, I mean, the woman was about 70. And <laughs> she lived on the second floor, and she came down, opened the main door up, and went back upstairs, and she wasn't wearing a bloody stitch. Oh, God almighty, you could, yeah, she definitely needed an ironing. Yeah, so I've seen some sights, my mate. Um, have you ever been to, today in his neck of woods, down, down Birmingham Way? It, no, the best I've been is to Daventry in Northampton. Our kid lives down there, and I had to go down there to do a management course when I was working in management in a shop. Anyway, there we go. And that's all the questions, I think. Yeah. I even had them all written down, just in case I missed any. Yeah, so that's the lot of them. And my God, wasn't that quick. That was nearly 29 hours. Yes, thank you, Trinity, for all them questions. I hope you've learned a little bit about me anyway, and it hasn't turned you off too much. And I hope you didn't fall asleep halfway through this video. No. Um, with that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for the, the questions. As I say, everybody who gave a question, if they've got a channel, there's a link. Go and check them out. Um, I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.